Starliner astronauts reveal horrifying mission secrets. A seemingly flawless space mission transformed into a harrowing ordeal with shocking revelations from Boeing Starliner astronauts. Returning to Earth thanks to the crucial intervention of SpaceX's Crew Dragon, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams recounted the terrifying details of their extended nine-month journey. What initially appeared a straightforward mission quickly unraveled into a series of critical failures. Initially, everything seemed to be proceeding smoothly. However, the astronauts' accounts exposed significant design and operational flaws within the Starliner spacecraft. Originally slated for an eight-day return, the mission instead stretched to a perilous 286 days in orbit due to a cascade of serious technical malfunctions. As the spacecraft approached the International Space Station, a critical juncture, four primary thrusters abruptly failed, plunging the crew into a precarious situation, rendering the vessel uncontrollable. Facing an impossible choice, the astronauts had to decide between a potentially fatal return to Earth or attempting a docking maneuver with a malfunctioning spacecraft at the space station. The confines of the spacecraft became a crucible of tension and anxiety as critical systems faltered. Only through the relentless efforts of ground control teams was a catastrophic outcome averted. Even after successfully docking with the space station, doubts about a safe return lingered. The Starliner's structural integrity was questioned, making a direct return impossible. The necessity of a SpaceX rescue mission, transferring the astronauts to the Crew Dragon vehicle, underscored the gravity of the situation. This entire episode served as a stark reminder of the significant technical challenges and safety concerns within the Starliner program and raised serious questions about its continued viability. Beyond the technical hazards, the ordeal highlighted the considerable financial disparity in the compensation of astronauts. Though in the highest federal pay grade, Wilmore and Williams' earnings for the protracted mission were measurably low, prompting criticism and raising concerns about the fairness of astronaut compensation. The catastrophic failures of the Starliner mission demonstrate the critical need for thorough testing, extensive engineering reviews, and unwavering commitment to safety protocols in any future human spaceflight endeavors. This incident serves as a crucial lesson in the profound complexities and substantial risks inherent in space exploration. The mission underscores the importance of a robust system for evaluating and addressing potential failures in intricate spacecraft systems. Becoming an astronaut is a globally coveted career. Millions dream of soaring into space, experiencing weightlessness, and witnessing Earth from above. This seemingly thrilling and adventurous pursuit, however, comes with significant downsides. Astronauts face one of the most dangerous professions, a reality underscored by the recent troubles with the Boeing Starliner mission. The mission highlights the potential for rapid and severe complications, making the job far more perilous than many realize. The Boeing Starliner mission, initially seeming successful, ultimately revealed a more troubling reality. Thanks to SpaceX's Crew Dragon, the astronauts returned safely to Earth. However, post-mission disclosures painted a stark picture of the Starliner's unpreparedness for crewed space flights. Astronauts, after returning home, shared shocking details about the mission, revealing critical problems that raised serious concerns about the spacecraft's readiness. The mission's outcome indicated that the program might be in jeopardy and potentially require complete termination due to fundamental flaws in the Starliner's design and functionality. This unexpected turn of events highlighted the profound risks inherent in the project. Originally scheduled for an eight-day return, the mission of astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams was drastically extended. Due to significant spacecraft malfunctions, they spent a staggering 286 days in orbit. Their first interview after returning revealed the gravity of the situation. As they approached the International Space Station, crucial thrusters failed, leaving them unable to steer their capsule. This critical failure occurring near the space station presented a formidable challenge. The astronauts faced a difficult choice between attempting a risky re-entry or trying to dock with the malfunctioning spacecraft. This unforeseen crisis highlighted the perilous nature of space travel and the complex decisions faced by astronauts in such emergencies. Normally, if a spacecraft experiences critical malfunctions, like the loss of essential functions, flight rules mandate immediate return to Earth. However, in this specific case, 
astronaut Butch Wilmore faced a profound dilemma. The crew's crucial systems were failing, casting doubt on their ability to safely execute a return. His internal dialogue, I don't know that we can come back to Earth at that point, encapsulates the immense pressure and uncertainty they faced. The choice presented a stark dichotomy, attempt a risky re-entry or attempt docking with the space station despite the malfunctions. The malfunctioning spacecraft, operating under less than ideal conditions, significantly complicated the decision. This critical juncture required careful analysis of the spacecraft's condition, a detailed assessment of the risks associated with each option, and a decision based on the available data and judgment. The gravity of the choice hinged on maintaining the safety of the crew while navigating the complexities of space travel in the face of technical failures. Inside the cramped confines of the spacecraft, a palpable tension hung heavy amongst the astronauts. Communication, though present, lacked certainty and was fraught with unspoken anxieties. The astronauts grappled with the unknown cause of the malfunctioning thrusters and the potential for further catastrophic failures. Butch Wilmore, meticulously calculating orbital mechanics, explained their predicament. The spacecraft had subtly drifted below the International Space Station, causing increased velocity. A continued downward spiral in the spacecraft's trajectory would amplify the distance from the station, making docking significantly more difficult and dangerous. This close proximity to failure heightened the unspoken anxieties within the confined capsule. The unpredictable nature of space travel and the reliance on complex systems created a high-stakes environment. This situation underscored the crucial role of communication and precise calculations in maintaining the safety and success of their mission. The spacecraft's docking maneuver relied heavily on visual tracking of the space station. However, this critical system was faltering, its alignment becoming increasingly unstable. If the tracking system detected a significant deviation from the intended docking trajectory, it would automatically abort the procedure, potentially jeopardizing the mission and the astronaut's safety. Facing this imminent risk, Wilmore, in a crucial moment, relinquished manual control of the spacecraft, hoping for a successful system reboot. The weight of this decision was enormous, placing the outcome squarely in the hands of NASA's ground team. Fortunately, a swift response from the ground team managed to reboot the crucial thrusters. Relief washed over the astronauts as their spacecraft finally locked into position alongside the space station, a critical milestone marking a significant victory amidst the crisis. The successful docking was a testament to the preparedness and quick response of the ground control team and a relief to the crew. It averted a more catastrophic outcome in the face of imminent failure. Even after the successful docking, doubts about a safe return persisted for astronaut Wilmore. He immediately contacted the International Space Station flight director, urgently inquiring about the capsule's suitability for return. The flight director's response was not encouraging, clarifying that the capsule was no longer considered a secure return option. As a result, the mission, initially planned for just eight days, had escalated into an unprecedented nine-month stay in orbit. The prolonged mission triggered intense investigation by NASA and Boeing to determine the root cause of the multiple failures. This extended period in orbit tested the astronauts' resilience, highlighting the unexpected complexities of space travel and the intricacies of maintaining spacecraft integrity. The situation demanded a thorough and extensive investigation, leading to intense scrutiny and a prolonged period of uncertainty as the issues were examined and analyzed. This significant setback underscored the critical need for meticulous planning, robust spacecraft design, and comprehensive safety protocols in space missions. With the Starliner deemed unsafe for return, NASA faced a critical need for an alternative. They had to find a way to bring the astronauts home safely. Their solution involved turning to SpaceX, a crucial partner in the ongoing effort to ensure astronaut safety. The Crew-9 mission was adjusted to accommodate astronauts Wilmore and Williams. On March 17, 2025, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, a reliable SpaceX vehicle, arrived at the space station. The next day, the astronauts transferred to the SpaceX capsule, marking a significant milestone in the mission's unexpected trajectory. Their safe return to Earth, landing off the coast of Florida, brought an end to this extended and challenging mission. This collaboration underscored the importance of adaptability and quick response in the face of unexpected setbacks.
SpaceX's role in providing a viable solution was instrumental in ensuring the astronauts' safe return, highlighting the value of partnerships and contingency plans in a complex and challenging environment. It demonstrated the resilience of the space program in managing unpredictable events and adapting to unforeseen circumstances. The extended period in space took a significant toll on the astronauts' physical and mental well-being. Prolonged exposure to the harsh environment of space resulted in notable challenges, including muscle loss, bone weakening, and increased radiation exposure. These physiological effects are a significant concern for astronauts undertaking lengthy missions. Beyond the physical strain, the emotional toll of an extended mission was substantial. The public was also stunned by the surprisingly low pay of astronauts. Wilmore and Williams, despite holding the highest federal pay grade, earned between $125,000 and $162,000 annually. Their nine-month mission resulted in earnings of only $94,000 to $123,000, with a meager daily allowance for food and incidentals. The overall compensation, totaling only $1,430 over 286 days, sparked widespread criticism and highlighted the need for fairer compensation considering the extreme risks and dedication required of astronauts. The financial disparity underscored a need for a more equitable compensation system for these essential professionals. The Boeing Starliner's troubles extended beyond this mission. Its first uncrewed test flight in 2019 revealed major software glitches, causing thruster misfires and fuel waste, forcing an abrupt mission end. Subsequent investigations uncovered over 80 problems, including a critical flaw that could have led to a catastrophic collision. Further testing exposed issues with the propulsion system, delaying the next mission by nearly a year. Despite these fixes, anomalies persisted during a subsequent orbital flight in 2022. The Starliner's launch in 2024, years behind schedule, demonstrated a persistent pattern of technical issues. The mission underscored a complex and problematic development history. This recurring pattern of setbacks highlighted the significant challenges inherent in developing complex spacecraft, demanding meticulous testing and thorough problem solving to ensure mission safety. The repeated failures raised significant questions about the program's viability and the need for robust quality control measures. The Boeing Starliner mission starkly illuminated the numerous problems plaguing the spacecraft. Despite repeated delays, fixes, and testing, the spacecraft remained unreliable for crewed missions. The ordeal faced by Wilmore and Williams underscored the inherent dangers and risks of space exploration. Their experience raised serious concerns about the future of the Starliner program. The mission's outcome emphasized the need for thorough and rigorous testing before launching any human spaceflights. This mission highlighted the critical need for meticulous attention to detail, extensive problem solving, and comprehensive testing to ensure safety and reliability in spacecraft systems. The failures demonstrated the complexities involved in constructing spacecraft, demanding rigorous engineering and quality control processes. Ultimately, the Starliner incident served as a cautionary tale about the importance of preventing mission risks and ensuring astronaut safety throughout the development and operational phases of a spacecraft program.